Hey guys, what's up? Alright, so here's an unboxing vid. It's going to be one of three. Um, the next two should be within about a week to a couple of days. Um, one's going to be a model and one's going to be some supplies. So I probably just gave it away, but uh, it's fine. So this one's a model um, for sure. Uh, came real fast, ordered it, got it on Sunday. I won the bidding on Sunday. Uh, off of eBay, I don't know, I don't think I mentioned that, but, uh, okay, but, yeah, so, really glad I got it, I was pretty disappointed, I lost, uh, two other ones, but, it happens, what are you gonna do, right, so, still in the camera view, alright, so, here it is, you obviously can see it on the side, um, one second, so glad it's not peanuts. Really hate that shit. You know, it keeps your stuff good, but hell, it's just annoying. It's just terrible to, to use otherwise. Wow, a lot of that stuff. A little popular though. <laughs> I'm kidding. Well, not really, but um. So there it is, guys. It's a D10N. I think it's very nice. Made by Northshot 150 scale. I believe it was made in 1992, if I'm correct. Um, not really too sure, though. But otherwise. Got it for, I think, $23, $25? I don't really know. Brand new, never been opened. Um, right out of the box. The guy was doing a whole bunch of auctions. Um, he had a 365 DL, um, 365 CL, a bunch of bunch of different Caterpillar models, and uh, he had a Bell B40D, the older one that was made by North Shot. I tried doing a bunch of them because um, they're really cheap. I mean, he had the 365, it started at like seven dollars and fifty cents, but of course everybody jumped on that, and uh, quite a few people jumped on this because I mean I've seen them go for. $50 and up, um, being at the age of it, but otherwise, you yeah, guys, zoom in a little, looks very nice, very impressed with it, and there's twist ties, of course, classic Norse Scott, instead of sitting there and tying them like an ass, it's an efficient way. There we go. Very nice. Very excited to get this model. Um, I also got it, the other purchase model. Uh, the other model I got, I purchased on eBay also. Um, very excited to get that one, honestly. A little bit more. It's not really old, but it's something pretty cool. Um, don't ask me. I want to kind of surprise you guys. But, wow. That's nice. Minus the track. A little weird looking, but if it's fine, they're rubber, so what are you going to do? But that's very nice. Ooh, the movement of the blade, surprisingly, quite nice. The blades, uh, the, the look of it, see, it looks really fat, but it's just a casting under it the way they did it. Oh, uh, um, it goes down that far, so, you know, could go down farther than the, the front uh, idols idlers go. Uh, there's no ripper, which I like, because I actually want to think about putting a winch on it, uh, a little one just to sit on the back. But I'm not really sure. It's a nice toe hitch or something like that. Detail inside the cab isn't bad either. Yeah, so I think it's very nice. This will be going in the dial. I'm hoping, depending on. Well, it might be a little bit big, but I want to try to get it in. The uh, they roll, but not well, being the rubber. And they've probably been sitting in this box 
for, you know, now it's a 20-year-old model, but this is, if it was made in 92, I don't really particularly know when the actual model was made, because I know the model, the, the models themselves were made for quite a few years, um, well, really until the new series came out, but I don't really know. Um, but yeah, otherwise, it's very nice. Um, I will have a review of this one, um, probably up soon. Again, please, guys, comment, rate, subscribe, you always do, but, um, message me if you want any reviews of any of my models, watch my model, um, collection update, which is, uh, I recently did, right after Christmas, so please do that, guys, though, and, um, yeah, because I will do any reviews of models, but otherwise, guys, so there it is, the Caterpillar Norscott, uh, well, Caterpillar D10N made by Norscott in 150th scale, so, Real fast, I'll get a picture uh, with the D11. So there is the D11 next to it. Quite a size difference from a 11 to a, a 10 to 11, I should say. Uh, track base is quite different, but the blade itself is just overall wider. Uh, as you can see. But it's not bad. Um, but otherwise, guys, thanks a lot. And uh, check in for the other unboxings.